Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop, or as I'd like to call it, my dining room table. We have a lot of stuff on our plate today. We're going to head to Home Depot first, and then we have to get some... Um, what are we getting from Home Depot? Oh, we're heading to Home Depot to get some caulk for the bathroom. Also, we're going to be up there probably most of the day, so we're going to be um, sealing the tile. We're going to be putting all the hardware on the tub. So the faucets and all the knobs and everything and trying to finish that area up so that we can move to the floor. Stick with us. All right, so it says to put two coats on the tile. I've never done this before, so you're learning right along with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray it, wait five minutes, and wipe it off. I got it on my face. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to let this sit until... I don't know, it says two or three hours or whatever, so we're going to head to Home Depot, and then by the time we go there, get what we need, come back, should be dry, ready for a second coat. You know what I'm saying? So, we gotta get a water heater. Our bill has been $400 each month. And then we did the circuit breaker test and come to find out it's our water heater. All right, we got it strapped down and we are ready to go. All right, we are finally back in the dungeon. Um, I, got, I got the right um, hoses this time, so before the little kit that came with it was three quarter on both sides but if you guys see I have well the new one it'll have a uh, three quarter outlets or well, inlet outlet and then but it has the other end of the hose I need a half inch so I needed a three quarter to half inch and Home Depot or Lowe's they didn't have it so um, I was able to order it though they had it you know on order but they didn't have anything in stock so Let's get this party started. nice 40 gallon tank so now we're gonna have to get it and put it here all right guys so this obviously is my first time and I'm not sure how easy it is to drain one of these things so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the cold valve off and leave the hot valve on and then run all the hot water out of there and see if that works I know there won't be really pressure you know the flow won't be there so we'll just see if that works so will just see if it'll ease up some of the residual in the tank so it'll be easier to move and easier to drain because I'm down in here in the in the cellar so it's gonna be hard to pump it up over that wall right there so wish me luck all right we got the new one up to where it's going and I'm trimming the lines here to um, so that the pipe our new adapter can go here and then to the other side right there but if you guys have never used a pipe cutter before so all you do is 
you slide this on the pipe, tighten this down, and you just rotate it around. Do a couple of turns, tighten it some more. You just keep doing that. Keep. And you can see the little groove, hopefully, that I'm making in the pipe. Tighten it down. Screw it some more. Tighten it down. Spin it some more. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'll get back to you as soon as I get this off of there. All right, so I've run into a little bit of a problem. Um, I was hoping that I could keep the valves that I had and I have to get new valves. Um, but because our new water heater is so much taller than the old one, um, I'm going to have to replace one of the valves um, or, or move it, essentially. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get a couple of shark bite fittings so I can move the valve up. Um, because here I'll show you what I'm kind of scared of. So if I move this kind of how I want it here like that you can see right there it has kind of a kink in it and that's just too much of a bend for it I don't want it to be kinked I kind of want it to be more like like that so it's not kinked um, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut the pipe cut the valve off and move it up so that I can just connect it right here. So, I guess all I need is a shark bite fitting and one shark bite fitting and I should be good. All right guys, we are back. Um, I was able to get the shark bite fitting that I needed. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this, put this shark bite fitting on Then attach, then attach the valve, and then attach the shark bite to the valve. All right, should be just a couple of push-ons right, push-on fittings right now. We should be good. Um, and then, if you guys want to try this yourself, I'll put a link in the description of all the tools that I used, so you guys can click and, um, you know pick up things as you need them. All right, this is the moment of truth. Uh, we got all the lines hooked up, so I'm gonna go and turn the well pump back on and see how she does. Let's do it. All right, honey. See if the well pump is back on. She's making some cupcake. <laughs> Look at all those pretty cupcakes. Yummy cupcakes. Just gotta get all the air out of the line there. Just let it build up pressure because I drained all the pressure off the system. All right, they're all open. So, no leaks. Praise the Lord. Look at that, no leaks. It's awesome. All right, last and final step is to hook up the power. All right, we're all hooked up. We got our power hooked in there. We got all of our wires. Now it's time to adjust the thermostat. And to do that, you take off these covers here and um, adjust them to the temperature that you want. So you want a lower temperature 
it's a little bit more efficient. I mean, you don't really need super hot water. Okay, so see in here. I don't know if you can see that. All you do is you take a flathead screwdriver and you turn the little pointer down there at the bottom to the desired temperature. So lowest you can go is 90 degrees. Highest you can go is 150. So we'll turn it down just a little bit to the bottom right hand corner there. All right, we're almost ready. Almost in there like swimwear. All right, let's go inside and see how it works. Um, first things first though, I'm gonna turn the power on. All right, we'll let this thing heat up and um, we'll see if we have hot water. All right, so it's the moment of truth. Um, I'm gonna turn on the hot water and I already know we have hot water. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Whew, ah, nice and hot. I know you can't really see it, but she's in there like swimwear. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Nathan and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Every Friday I post a new video, so come back and hang out with us.